There's a common defense of the world building in the sequel trilogy that I find to be mildly frustrating, and it's that we didn't need certain things explained to us in the original trilogy, so why do we need them explained to us here? The most commonly used example with this defense is Snoke. Why do we need to know who Snoke is when in the originals we didn't know who Palpatine was? Let me give you an allegory as to why I disagree with this train of thought. If you walk into a hotel room for the first time and the walls are white, okay, the walls are white, you think nothing of it. Then you leave the room and come back 20 minutes later and now the walls are black. You would ask, why did the walls change color? Who changed the color of the walls? Why was the color of the walls changed? A similar thing could be said about certain things in the sequels. You don't ask these same questions with the originals because at the time, we didn't know the status quo. In the case of Palpatine, we know there's two Sith? Great, we think nothing of it. In the sequels, you can't just ask us to ignore why a dude who is basically a Sith just showed up out of the blue. We saw in Return of the Jedi that there were two Sith and that they both died.